So this soap we're making today is going to take care of hyperpigmentations, blemishes, will take out acne scars and leave your face looking so bright, refreshed and glossy. Hi lovelies, welcome to Skin Glow Beauty Castle. And if this happens to be your first time stopping by this channel, I mean your first time seeing this face, where have you been? Anyways, you are welcome to a beautiful channel you are going to be so addicted to, no jokes. And to all my returning subscribers, you already know, you're the real MVPs and thank you so much for sticking with me, I really cannot say this enough. So today I'm super excited, as always, I am going to be teaching you beauties how you can turn your regular bar soaps into a mulatto facial soap. So previously I talked about how you can turn your regular bar soaps into a mulatto shower gel and also how to make a mulatto black soap. So if you have not seen that video, I'm going to leave a link up here, click on that link and watch the video. So this soap we're making today is going to take care of hyperpigmentations, blemishes, will take out acne scars and leave your face looking so bright, refreshed and glossy. I know this sounds like something you're very much interested in, so cross with me to my formulating table and let's get a job done. Welcome to my workstation lovelies. So first and foremost, like I always say, it is very advisable for you to sanitize your equipment and your environment before production. I have done that already. Here in this bowl, I have my shredded bar soaps we'll be using for today's tutorial. You can set the beautiful colors because of our careful selections of our soaps. First is our collagen soap. This is our fruity collagen soap. This is very good to restore the elasticity of your skin and to brighten out your face as well. Next up is our Jam Extra Goat Milk Gluta Collagen Soap. This soap is very, very good. It is mild and very effective. Next, we'll be using our K Brothers Baby Face Soap with AHA. This soap is very good. It will brighten up your face, deeply exfoliate your face, and clear out dark spots. Next, we have our K Brothers Gluta Collagen Whitening Soap. This is a must have for this production. It is super effective and safe. Next up, we have our K Brothers Card Soap. This soap will take care of black spots on your face, it will brighten up your face, and it is super, super safe on the face. Next up, we have a K Brothers Papaya Face Soap. This works on black spots and acne scars as well. It is super effective and very, very good. Next up, we have our Extra Beauty Herbal Whitening Soap. This is a carrot soap and it is great on the face. As you can see, we have a careful selection of our soaps here. They are all fruity soaps and it contains collagen, contains carrots, papaya, all fruity soap. Please, you have to make sure you have a careful selection of your soaps before production so as to avoid your soap oxidizing because there are some ingredients, there are some powders that are not supposed to be combined together in a single formulation. So here we have our soap shredded in. You can see the beautiful color. I am loving it already. Next up, I'll be adding in one egg soap. You know, we have different kinds of egg soap. We even have the collagen egg soap as well. So you can use any egg soap you can find. You know, that is very, very good on the face. So yeah, I've shredded it in the bowl as well.
what you see in here is my turmeric powder all right i already put my turmeric powder in here and right in this bowl i have a combination of different powders i am also going to be using for today's production so i am going to be telling you the powders in this bowl first we have our white licorice powder next we have our salicylic acid powder next we have our rice powder we have our allantoin powder we have our goat milk powder we have our vitamin b3 powder which is also known as niacinamide and then i have a pinch of miracle powder in here please time will not really permit me to go into details as to explain the the benefits of these powders so please you can look them up so you can know the benefits and what they really do to the skin their effectiveness and all that in this bowl we have our oil mixtures the different oils we're going to be using for today's production and I'm going to tell you what we have in there first we have our whitening soap activator Yes, this is very important because it brings everything together. It makes a soap super effective. It increases, enhances, and boosts the effectiveness of the soap. So it is very important. Next up, we have our 42-hour serum. This serum is very, very good. Please make sure to have it handy while producing this soap and be sure to get the original next up we have our jojoba oil jojoba oil glows the skin it is non-comodogenic next up we have our carotin oil please endeavor to get the original of this okay carotin serum next we have our glutathione vitamin c concentrate this is very very great mild and effective on the face yes it is very good next we have our grapeseed oil grapeseed oil glows the skin it is non-comodogenic and it is equally lightweight next we have our rosehip oil Rosehip oil is also non-comedogenic. It can be used by all skin types and it glows the skin beautifully. Next, we have our argan oil. Argan oil is great for the skin. It's great on the face. So it is a must-have. Okay? It glows and nourishes the skin as well. Next up, we have our whitening glycerin. Yes, you can use any whitening glycerin brand of your choice, but I choose to use the Magic White um, whitening glycerin. Next up, we have our propylene glycol. Propylene glycol will help for this soap to penetrate deep into your skin to make it work faster. So. Propylene glycol enhances penetration of the product into your skin. Next, we have our skin-free milk. Everybody knows skin-free milk. Yes, it is super, super effective. And please use it wisely. Use it wisely. Okay, so skin-free milk here. So skin free milk is great on the face is great on the body and we are using a very little quantity in the soap next we have our lemongrass oil this is a diy lemongrass oil it is very good on the skin very good on the face as well next we have our white now oil white now oil is super super effective it brightens out the skin it contains beta carotene and remember our uh, selection of soaps contains carrot and so this is just another very good oil to go with it another good serum to go with it so next we have our shinic three days um, concentrate up next we have our collagen extract this will firm up your skin and also 
fight off every signs of premature aging. So collagen is very important. Next, we have our glycolic acid. This helps to deeply exfoliate your skin so that this product can penetrate and work effectively. And next up, we have our tea tree essential oil. Next up, we have our vitamin E oil. This is a very potent antioxidant and it also increases the shelf life of the soap. Next, we have our pimento concentrate. This is a very good concentrate and it's a must have for this soap as well. Next up, we have our neem oil. This is our DIY neem oil. This has antibacteria and antifungal properties. Next up is our aloe vera gel. It is soothing and it deeply moisturizes. So we need this in the soap so it can soothe our skin and moisturize our skin. So in here, we're adding our powders into our shredded soaps. Please endeavor to get the original of every ingredient we are using for this production. It is very important so that you have an effective product at the end. So next we will be going in with our oils. Here I have the Gluta White Shower Gel with AHA, Vitamin B3, and Vitamin C, and goat milk as well. So I'll be using this to soak this soap. Just a little of this to soak the soap. Here we have it. I'm just going to massage the liquid into the soap. I'm going to massage it thoroughly and cover this up until the next day. So here it is, it is dissolved a little. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick blend this properly and I'll show you the result. So here we have it, I have stick blended it. I did that off camera just to save us the time and the noise. We can see how fluffy and how beautiful this looks. Here, I will be adding in our lavender essential oil. Next here, I have my strawberry fragrance. You can use any flavor oil or fragrance of your choice. So just make sure it is a fragrance oil that can be used on the face because the face is very, very sensitive. I am adding in my Jammer Plus preservative. So preservative is supposed to be 1% of the total batch of your soap. So make sure you measure it accurately and then you add in your preservative. I used liquid Jamma Plus preservative for this. Or you can use any broad spectrum preservative of your choice. So I'm going to step properly to combine. Next, I'll be going in with my edible food coloring. You can choose to leave the soap this color if that's what you want, but I really want to spice it up a little. So I'm going to be adding food coloring and if I need more, I'm going to be adding as time goes on. So I'll mix it in and then if it's not enough, I'll add more. So 
voila. See how beautiful this looks. So you could choose to add more coloring or less. It's based on preference, okay? So now I am going to package this and show you exactly what it looks like. You can see the end product looking so beautiful, so yummy, and it smells amazing. Please keep this away from your kids so they don't eat it thinking it's ice cream, okay? So you can use this on your face. You can mask it on your face and leave it on for just 30 seconds and then you wash it off. Use the soap and hyperpigmentation, sport and scars on your face will be gone. No jokes. If you have been watching and you still haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please click on the red subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you get first hand notification when I post a new video. Always be good and kind to yourself and others. Peace.